Two Ohio police officers suspended last week for making racist text messages to each other. You're not going to believe these. Now, according to the news reports, I can't tell if these were text made on of official government property phones or if these were private phones. Either way, it's simply not smart to be texting information that makes you look like the worst possible evil heel to your enemies. There's a Captain Thomas Flanders and a Detective Michael Schellenberger. They are Ohio police officers. And a couple of their text messages have surfaced. They're now on suspension. Hello, like folks. There are some who just reflexively say that uh, any police officer is a racist, uh, any white police officer is a racist, and they're all evil. I, that's going too far. I certainly don't buy that. But there are others who claim that cries of racism are too simplistic, knee-jerk, and that's not fair, and there's really not a problem with racism. Well, listen to what was texted here. I hate N spelled out, the N word. That is all. That's from one of the, Folks, there's no ambiguity there. There's no subtlety there. There's no reading the tea leaves there. Someone says, I hate, and they insert the N-word. That's about as pure an unbridled definition of racism and racist as you can find. Now, here's some of their other nuggets. What do apples and black people have in common? They both hang from trees. This is apparently what passes for humor among the racist police set in Ohio. Obviously, references to... Uh, lynchings of blacks, especially in the South, a long time ago, at least in theory. So folks, the idea that something is personal just because it's a text, no. It's something that the whole world can hear about, the whole world can see on every major news site, website, now YouTube. So you've really got to think twice about it. This doesn't mean that you can't ever have a private moment or a joke between a friend. But if you're in a highly sensitive industry where people already believe you unfairly kill people, maybe you should just think twice before playing into people's worst stereotypes about you.